Welcome back, everybody. New developments in the U.S. Virgin Islands lawsuit against J.P. Morgan over Jeffrey Epstein. Let's get to Eamon Javers with the very latest. Eamon? Hey there, Kelly. In a courtroom last night in New York, attorneys for the U.S. Virgin Islands targeted J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon as directly as we have seen so far in their case, alleging that the bank aided Jeffrey Epstein in his decades of sex crimes. The direct allegations against Dimon raise questions about how J.P. Morgan is going to defend itself here and if this case will have any impact on Dimon's legacy as one of the most powerful titans of Wall Street. Last week, J.P. Morgan sued its own former executive, Jess Staley, alleging that if there was any Epstein-related wrongdoing at the bank, it was done by Staley without the knowledge of other executives. In essence, J.P. Morgan was painting Staley as a rogue employee. But last night, attorneys for the U.S. Virgin Islands said they don't buy that argument. An attorney for the U.S. Virgin Islands said if Staley is a rogue employee, why isn't Jamie Dimon? And argued Staley knew Diamond knew, J.P. Morgan Chase knew. Of J.P. Morgan generally, the attorney said, they broke every rule to facilitate his sex trafficking in exchange for Epstein's wealth, connections, and referrals. For its part, J.P. Morgan argued that, quote, all roads lead to Staley in this case, and they took issue with the idea that Jamie Dimon had any specific knowledge. J.P. Morgan has asserted that Dimon has no recollection of ever reviewing the Epstein accounts at the bank. A federal judge sided with the USVI against J.P. Morgan on one point and agreed that the USVI does have the ability to bring a case on behalf of anyone who was a resident there. The attorney for the U.S. Virgin Islands did not present evidence to prove her claim that Diamond knew about Epstein's crimes, but said in court that there will be numerous documents in this case that go beyond Staley's office, quote, to the executive suite. Now, I reached out to J.P. Morgan for comment this morning on last night's hearing but they declined to respond on the record. Back over to you, Kelly. How much longer should this hearing take place for in terms of any further allegations that we might hear? Well, we're going to expect discovery to continue, and the U.S. Virgin Islands side is going to get a tranche of J.P. Morgan documents uh, any, time, any day now. We're going to see more hearings next, uh, next month, and we do expect this to go all the way through the fall, Kelly. So a lot more wow. to come here on this story, and a big uh, question mark here for Jamie Dimon. We'll hear from uh, J.P. Morgan. As soon as they respond to us, uh, we'll tell you what they had to say.